Hello everyone. I have posted a few videos of how to make a web animated banner using AnimeCC. Today I'm going to show you five easy steps to make pretty cool looking animated banner in AnimeCC. So let's get started. Okay, so step number one. Uh, set your layout in AnimeCC. So as you can see that uh, you can download this file from the link I provided, arches.fla file. It's a kind of a hypothetical uh, web animated banner uh, for the Arches National Park. So, once you have this kind of a layout, as you can see that, uh, each layer has a different image. So, background, bottom layer, I have a background image, and the logo layer, Arches National Park, and social media buttons. Okay, so that's all I have. And step number two, create classic or motion twin and insert the keyframe. So I'm going to select all the first keyframes from the bottom layer, highlight your first keyframe, hold down the shift, and click on the first keyframe of your top layer so you can select everything. Now go to insert menu, classic twin, and insert keyframe. So we have two keyframes per layer, departure and the destination. So now we are ready to make some changes. <clears throat> Step number three, make any changes on the first keyframe of each layer. So um, we need to have some kind of plan. So my plan is I want to have my background images kind of fading in and then other elements kind of coming in. So let's do that. My background layer, let me highlight the other first keyframe of my background layer. Now, click on your image, on your stage, open properties panel, then color effect. I'm going to change the my alpha value from 0 to 100, like this. So starting from the 0% and ending at 100%. I will make some more changes on logo. Highlight the first keyframe of your logo layer, click on your logo image, then uh, let me make some more different changes. So I'm going to choose my uh, free transform tool and hold down the shift key. Let me make it slightly bigger. Let me, it's up to you, like this. And then also, still my first keyframe is selected. In the properties panel, I'm going to change the color effect alpha value. So um, it's getting smaller and fading in, like this, at the same time. Now arches, the first word. Um, I will do the kind of the same thing. This time let me open my um, transform panel. I'm going to make it 200% larger. Let me change my tool. 200% larger, and then also, I want to change the alpha value as well. So it's getting smaller and fading in. Next word, national. I will do the same thing. So open, select your national, the word on your stage. Open your free, uh, transform panel. 200% larger. And let me change the alpha value of first keyframe to zero. It's fading in too. Now next word, park. Click on your park word on your stage. Open transform panel. 200% larger and alpha value starting from zero. Like this. It's already pretty cool. Okay. Now next, social media uh, buttons. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this time I'm going to make it Kind of a same way, 200% again. And then change the alpha value to zero. So this thing happens like this. Okay, so once you play it, everything's happening at the same time, which is okay. But I want to give some kind of a little more kind of a dynamics. So, step number four, arrange 
yeah, each element kind of differently to give some kind of a time gap. So my background layer is coming in first, and once it is done, and then I want to have my logo or I want to have my Arches National Park. So um, logo, select here your logo layer, and it will highlight your entire segment. I'm going to move it to the right, just to maybe halfway, like this. And the arches, more, national, even more, park, even more. And then the last, my social media icons. Maybe something like this. So this will, uh, this will happen like this. Okay. Problem is, once my background shows up, and once it hits the other second keyframe, it's gone. So step number five is extend your the additional uh, numbers of frames to keep everything in the same timeline. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is. So currently, maybe frame number 77 is kind of my last keyframe. So um, leave your first layer as it is, and then highlight the, other, the frame number 77 from the second uh, layer to the bottom layer by holding down the Shift key. Then insert the keyframe. Then watch. Again. Okay, and let me preview it. This happens. It's pretty cool, but problem is it doesn't stay long enough to read the kind of entire information. So I want to assign kind of maybe a two or three seconds uh, to the viewer so they have enough time to read it. So let me go back. So um, my animation's ending around kind of three seconds, a little over three seconds. So what I'm going to do is, on six second mark, I'm going to highlight the, this, uh, the blank frames from top to bottom by holding down the shift key. Select everything, all frames, and insert the keyframe. Then it will stay. Uh, we will keep presenting the your words and logos and all images up to six second mark and we'll replay so we'll see it so uh, let me preview it command return to view it on the web browser fading in one two three and back to the beginning okay so um, this is a pretty simple animation, but um, uh, once you get used to it, and then you can apply different objects, different images, and different text in different ways. Okay, so I hope uh, this is uh, helpful. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.